Good morning, it's Dr. Shippon from drwhynot.com. Today is gratitude day. It is time for me to talk about something that I have made a major focus in my life and it was the topic of my dissertation and I'm gonna tell you about how to harness its power in a way that maybe no one else has. Gratitude. Gratitude, our research shows, is the total opposite of negative emotionality. That when you actually experience it as an emotion, meaning you experience a feeling that most people describe occurring somewhere in their mid-body, usually around the heart, when that feeling of gratitude is occurring, you cannot feel negative emotionality at the same time. That means sadness, anger, or fear. So this is an incredibly powerful thing to cultivate in your life. If you could cultivate this every day, our research and my research in particular shows that you do better in life. My research showed that when you cultivate gratitude daily, five things for which you feel deeply in your heart grateful, you're likely to lower your blood pressure faster than other people. You're likely to exercise more. You're likely to lose weight faster. And you're likely to quit smoking faster. Plus, your general gratitude level goes up. And that's not a bad thing. Barbara Fredrickson, one of the top researchers in the field of positive psychology, classifies gratitude as one of those positive emotions that broadens and builds. It broadens your connections to others. It essentially makes you more available to other people for social support. And it builds the relationships that you currently have. So most people reflect on five things for which they're grateful in the present or in the recent past. I don't want you to do that. And I also don't want you to necessarily focus on the things that everybody told you you should be focusing on. Instead, the things can be as small as a cup of coffee. They can be as small as the fact that the newspaper person puts the newspaper on your front step. They can be as small as that you like to see a certain thing every day outside your window. So think about it for a minute and then I'm going to challenge you even further. Humans think in terms of past, present, and future. Very often, human beings confuse the past with what the future will be, skipping over the present entirely. So, if something happened yesterday or last year, it continues to happen in the imaginary future. This is a mistake, and it's one of the main mistakes that neurolinguistic programming seeks to fix in the people who are being consulted with. I'm going to ask you to apply gratitude to your illusions of past, present, and future. So right now, and I'll do it with you, reflect on five things from the past for which you are deeply in your heart grateful. And they can be major or minor things. Even people who are gone, I'm grateful. I'm grateful that I have played all the games that I've played. I'm grateful for finding my wife. All right. 
How about present? What are you grateful for that you have right now in your life, big or small, in this moment? Go. Finally, I'm going to ask you to think about five things in the future that you plan to be grateful for. Think big. Think small. But see yourself on the other side of it as if it has already happened, even though you're thinking of five things in the future. And deeply in your heart, feel the feeling of gratitude that it has already happened even though we're talking about something in the future. Go. Thank you so much for doing that exercise with me. This is the longest video I have ever recorded for DrWhyNot.com. And as you can see, if you did this video with me, and I, if you didn't, I urge you to go back and do it again. This can completely rewire your neurology to change your state. It is impossible to feel fear, sadness, or anger. And it will set your course for achieving the things that you want to achieve emotionally, spiritually, and even behaviorally in the world, especially with your uh, interpersonal relations. Wishing you a blessed week, and I hope you have a wonderful day today. This is Dr. Shippon from drwhynot.com. Talk to you soon.